What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kirk DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay Wilder and my thoughts of Deontay Wilder. You know, and, uh, you know, I've been hearing a lot of things um, about Deontay. I have I hear people roasting Deontay, you know, with the memes and, you know, those things like that. And, you know, some of them were funny. Some of them. But then, you know, I started to really think back at Wilder and the situation, you know, the situations, plural, that he's in. And I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, give this guy a break. He may not be the best fighter. I've always told you guys that, but that's no reason to drag him through the mud. It's all it's almost like people are parading that his life has gone to shit. You know, people are making fun of that. People are, you know, loving that. And then, you know, you ask yourself this question. You know, you got guys like his rival, Tyson Fury, getting drunk off bar stools and falling flat on his face out of a pub and then everyone wants to come to the fucking rescue like oh man give him a break well i understand that you should give him a break he's just human too but understand that doesn't make deontay wilder less human people go through shit people get into family personal uh life issues people go through professional issues and i think if they both happen all at the same time i think that's a double whammy and that's more pressure on a particular person that's human like look at wilder i don't like what wilder's going through you know what i mean um who else would he turn to sure his mom you know what i mean but like his intermediate family's gone that motherfucker jumped ship swift like she swiftly jumped ship so not only did he does he not have that family element i mean that intermediate family element he doesn't have his boxing career to fall back on because they put him in there with a fucking monster. They put him in there with someone like Zili Zhang that he's showing people why he is who he is. And it's not like Wilder, they threw Wilder in there with fucking Mark DeMori. Okay? It's not like they threw him in there with uh, Junior Fa. You know what I mean? It's not like they threw him in there with Otto Weiland. Even Otto Weiland, I think, was a better opponent, but they didn't throw him in there with guys like that. They threw him in there with Parker, where Parker was sharpening his tools, you know, and he was uh, ready and prepared to fight whoever after fighting three times in the year, getting him nice and conditioned, you know what I mean? And, like, he fought him. Then he fights Zili Zhang. Those guys are high on the totem pole, and he gets knocked out. Okay, he's not the best. I never said he was, but understand, it's not like he got, he went in there and, and, and fought a guy, a tomato can and got knocked out. You know what I mean? Cause people are now like, oh man, I told you he wouldn't shit. Well, he got knocked out by one of the top dudes, one of the top fighters in the sport. So why don't we give Deontay Wilder a break? Because he's fought the guys that everybody wants him to fight. Yeah. We wanted to see the Joshua fight. We know that his handlers really didn't want him to do that. That's why Al Heyman convinced him not to take that fucking money. I think Shelly Finkel, I think JD's had the best intentions for Deontay Wilder, but at the same time, time knowing his limitations. I think that's why they held him back. I think the fights that he had was concocted and orchestrated by him. And Al Heyman didn't really give a shit because as long as he was getting his whatever percentage, he didn't care who Wilder fought. He just knew Wilder was a great commodity as an American champion because we didn't have American champion until then. When was the last American champion, heavyweight champion that we had? You see what I mean? So I don't think that Wilder should be getting roasted like he is and it's like people oh he's getting roasted he's oh he's done he's this and that he may be but that's the thing why are we kicking him while he's down i don't like that at all i mean you know like sometimes you understand you can't oh uh, say oh man give this other guy a break but then when it comes to wilder oh man not wilder he he ain't shit he's garbage he's this he's that like oh, he's fought and got knocked out by a very tough guy that's either knocked out or stopped. Everyone, or knocked down, everyone that he's ever fought. And his name is Zili Zhang. I'm talking about Hergovic. I'm talking about Parker. I'm talking about Joe Joyce twice. 
okay? Now Wilder. So this guy's a monster. He's somebody very, let's put it this way. Zili Zhang is very dangerous and he's high on the totem pole. He's ranked high in all of the sanctioning bodies. You know what I mean? So if you're going to get beat, you would get beat by someone like that. Now, I thought he would win, and since he didn't, okay. But all this other personal stuff, listen, that stuff's a totally different type of hurt. You know what I mean? So, like, the things that he was going through, you know, hey, that, that, that could happen to anybody. Again, just human. You know, but when you have both sides and both walls coming in on you, you have really have nowhere to turn, you know. So, I think. That Deontay Wilder needs a break like everybody else. Like people give a break to Ryan Garcia, Tyson Fury, Teofimo Lopez, Anthony Joshua, all of these guys. You know, everyone has, hey, but he's okay and this, that, and the other. You know, this man had to take a drug, a, a, a mind-altering drug to get off the shit he was going through. Think about that for a minute. But anyway, that's my thoughts on Deontay Wilder. Hopefully he can come back, and if not, I do understand. But give the man a hand. <laughs> Bars. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!